Everybody, welcome back. Northern Land plays the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Plus 17 wins in a row, and I gotta tell you, feeling positively human this morning. X8LB, 8QPV. Good stats as well. Ooh, a <laughs> good baby as well. Rotten baby! This is wonderful! Um, I'm, you know, I should stop saying it just because, like, it kind of makes me cringe every time, but in its own way, that's kind of why I like it. Um, well, I will say as well, you know, I said, you know, feeling positively human this morning, and it, it is indeed, um, 2 p.m., so not, not really the morning, but the flow of time is distorted in Lordran, as you have heard many times before. So, metronome, we're gonna, we're gonna use it on occasion. When, when we're in a pinch, when a room is hard, but we're not gonna just spam it, I think, indiscriminately, because... Well, I mean, it gives you passives, right? So, most of the passives... There, there are a few that could kind of screw you, for sure. Maybe it's passives and actives, but it's, it's definitely got the ability to, to have passives. Um, I don't know if there's many bad ones, but there are some that, like... Like, Isaac's heart on the wrong room could cause you a whole heap of troubles. Yo, that's extremely good. This is just one of those seeds where you gotta go like, you know what, we're pretty blessed right out of the gate here. This does not appear to be a, a candidate for a loss right now. It's uh, very, very, very strong. Yo, also pretty good, honestly. Um, only one real bomb, which is kind of like a slap in the face, but... And I, I don't really see a good option for us. Well, actually, no. I think we can use two bombs to try to find a second secret room. If it takes two, which it did, then it takes two. Okay, so so be it. Um, regular secret room's a little funky there. We're not too sweating it. We're not worried. We're not sweating it too much, I should say. Anyway, how am I doing? Uh, I'm doing pretty well, thank you for asking. You know, slight sleep deprivation. Um... But nothing to, to really write home about. I think you just kind of... You know, I'm, I'm not getting like three hours a night. I'm getting like, you know, five and a half hours a night kind of segmented. I really think you just kind of get used to it after a while. Like, I, Malf used to genuinely, when, when he was working in like a, a real office... Not to say that, you know, streaming is not a real job. But when he was working at a real job... Um, wait, did I just say that? He... Uh, would go to bed sometimes around like midnight or like up to as late as like 2 a.m. and would wake up for like 6 a.m. to go to work. And he, I asked him, I was like, aren't you tired? And he's like, yeah, but you just, you know, you take a shower as soon as you get up and you kind of get used to it. Now I'm using that as my, uh, as my inspiration right now. I think that getting, and you've, you've heard me say this a lot over the course of the past couple of years, I think that getting uh, a lot of sleep, as much sleep as possible, um, is is pretty virtuous. I, I don't think that it's anything to be proud of to be getting a limited amount of sleep. However, you know, there are times like this, for example, where it's kind of, what are you going to do? <laughs> I don't think it's worth it, honestly. That is a tears up. Yeah, I'll take a tears up out of that. Like, if you're just getting a lack of sleep because you're like, oh, I want to watch one more episode of uh, The Good Place. Well, one episode, whatever. You're, if you're like, I want to watch one more season of The Good Place, you know, I would caution you to maybe have a little bit of restraint there. But if you're like, you know, well, I got a newborn infant. I know this might sound like, oh, so it's okay for me, but not for thee. Well, no, it's just, you know. When, when you have the urge to watch an episode of The Good Place, you know, it'll still be there in the morning. It's not like the good place is like, wah, I just pooped on my, uh, you know, my diaper. This is an insanely good run, by the way. What have I been up to? A lot of baby stuff. I feel like we're getting into the swing of baby stuff pretty well. I've, my, my TTD, time to diaper, is like way down. Which is extremely positive, because, you know, we're getting a lot of runs every single day. <laughs> if... if uh, you uh, take my wordplay. Regardless, what was I saying anyway? Just settling into the new parent uh, vibe, you know? Um, I did watch the new Adam Sandler film, QB Halloween, today. 
it's amazing to me. Um, so I, you might say, what'd you think about it? Here's the nicest thing I'm willing to say about Hubie Halloween. Uh, I didn't like it, but I think with respect to the Sandman, you know, if you like his films, this one will probably be above average, is my take. Uh, it, it's a little... I mean, it's not a good movie, but I could see, you know, people laughing at it. Like, to be honest, I know this is like a double Malf reference early on. I think that Malf will watch this movie and he'll chuckle. That's not to say that I think he'll like it, but I think he will find some recurring bits, like Hubie's mom uh, constantly wearing uh, t-shirts that have double entendres on them. I think he will find that to be a humorous bit. That's my take on that. Um, but it's crazy to me that Adam Sandler and Steve Buscemi are friends. Like, does that not kind of... Don't you find that a little wild? Maybe I'm just, like, easily impressed or whatever, but... I'm like, when I think of Steve Buscemi, you know, I think of... Uh, the movies that he's been in. Ghost World. Uh, the Big Lebowski. I think uh, I think all these like pseudo cult classic art house films like the death of Stalin, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's like the exact opposite of the Adam Sandler verse, right? The fact that they're friends, I mean, is is kind of heartwarming in a way. I don't have anything else to say about it. It's just it's just wild to me. I guess it just goes to show you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it goes to show you. I think what it goes to show you is that being friends with Adam Sandler is a great gig. Even though the movies, in my opinion, are not that good. Uh, you know, the stuff that Happy Madison makes. And by not that good, I mean almost, like, insulting. But, you know, a lot of people like it, okay? I'm not trying to say they shouldn't exist. Um, seems like one of the most stable jobs that you could have in Hollywood is being Adam Sandler's friend. And you know what? In, in, in some ways, I'm kind of here for it. I'm, I'm, it could be worse. You know, lots of great movies have been made by terrible people. And then, you know, horrible allegations come out of abuse. You know, Stanley Kubrick um, making Shelley Duvall's life a, a living heck on the set of The Shining. You're like, yeah, the movie's great, but at the same time, was it worth that poor woman's sanity? Meanwhile, Adam Sandler, you're like, you know, the movies aren't that good. But on the other hand, like... Everybody seemed to have a fun time making it, and uh, they all came back for seconds, so, you know, it's kind of a nice vote of confidence. It did remind me how much I like Uncut Gems, though, dude. I was like, man, I gotta... We could get four Perthros here. I don't think that's really prudent, but... Um, it's like, man, I gotta go back and watch Uncut Gems. There might be something wrong with me, because everybody's opinion on Uncut Gems was like, oh, this movie stressed me out. When I was watching, I was like, this is a, this is fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to flex. I'm like, oh, I'm, it's because I'm, I'm not immune to anxiety by any stretch of the imagination. But, you know, maybe uh, for whatever reason, it just, it just tickled me in the right spot. I think that movie is very good. Is this still on Netflix? Maybe yes, maybe no. I hope so. Yo, Virgo Invincibility. Dude, this run is like... I don't even know what to say. I feel bad even bringing it up because it's just so obviously, like, very, very good. Like, it's statistically across the board completely set. I, we have one bad stat, and that's speed. And there's a pretty likely chance that'll be handled for us on this very floor. Even if we get IV Bag instead of Blood Bag. Um, we have a Perthrow Rune to, to kind of make it work, right? You're really not going to pay out with anything this early. You're gonna make me go... I mean, that's 16. I'll take the hit. Look at that. That's selfless. Down for the count and I'm drowning in it. Okay, wh whatever, dude. Hook me up. That, absolutely, I'll take it. There's our speed sorted for us. I guess we should have gone into the boss trap room, but whatever. Anyway. So that's, that's pretty much been my... That's been my life. I watch like a couple movies a day. Usually stuff I've seen before, because, you know, sometimes I end up uh, missing, you know, half-hour bursts or, you know, hour-long bursts even because of, uh, you know, baby stuff. 
That's why I like to put on some low impact entertainment. You don't really want to be like, come on, baby, I know you're hungry and you can't feed yourself, but I gotta see the end of Hubie Halloween. <laughs> We're at the climax. I gotta figure out if he really did poop his pants. That's not a spoiler, that doesn't happen. I mean, unless it happened in the hour that I wasn't there. It didn't. It was probably like five minutes. I don't know why I'm even getting stuck in the, the banal minutia. Um, why not? It's not like our range is a, a real concern right now. I gotta tell you, the, the biggest danger on this run right now is, quite honestly, just like losing... Uh, Focus, just because of the fact that the run is so, like, unbelievably set already. And it, it could be a lot worse. Because I, I, if you lose focus on a run where things are spicy, you're liable to find yourself in a, in a world of hurt. If you lose focus on a run where things are fine, the only thing you're at risk of is, is time travel, where you're like, you know, you finish the episode and you're like, well, I had no idea that we were, you know, so close to being done. Where did the time go? Okay, this is more along the lines of what I'm looking for. So I think we, we have the HP to actually get a little spicy and have a little fun here. Um, I think I'll stick with Metronome. It's been pretty good for us, but then we'll perthrow these, and I will say that turned out pretty well. Succubus is real nice, and then uh, we'll take the Necronomicon as well. I, I hate to be this guy, but I'm like, I don't really want to go back for the for the uh, regular judgment. Like, I think we're just totally set. Let's send it, dude. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing okay. The baby, as of now, is... Uh... I'm running the numbers. Today's Friday. <laughs> She's like... Almost three weeks old. She's like, you know, 18, 19 days. Time has has really flown by in its in its own weird way. Why not? Why not? Uh, you know, it's not so bad. Get a choice on two different item rooms. But we should be getting back to some degree of normalcy soon. Like, a question that's come up a lot is like, hey, don't get me wrong. You know, you're... you're Getting more videos out than I expected, given the fact that, you know, this is a, a, probably, like, the most major life change. Um, but when are we going to return to... Well, not, like, in a demanding way, but people will be like, you think you're going to get, like, some more variety implemented soon? And I'm like, yeah. It's it's on the list, don't get me wrong. Like, Monster Train is where, like, I want to get more Monster Train videos out. Um, but we need to get, like, a one-day backlog in everything else first. And that's that's proving to be slightly touchy, because right now we got a we got a baby um, that every day the baby's emotional state gets multiplied by negative one. What what does that possibly mean? Well, it's like day one she's like a happy calm baby. She gets multiplied by negative one, and the next day she's kind of like a hungry fussy baby. Next day she gets multiplied by negative one, and she's like a grinning baby. And the next day she gets multiplied by negative one. You know, she she undergoes like a state change every day. So on calm baby sleepy baby days, you know what? Nothing worth doing's ever easy. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, sure, why not, why not? Um, I'll never know what the other item was, but but this is fine. Um, on, on those days, you, you end up with more time than you expect. You know, you budget a little bit of extra time to deal with baby stuff, and then the baby's like, don't worry about it, I'm cool. What, you think I'm a baby or something? And you're like, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Then on fussy baby days, you feed the baby, the baby closes her eyes. And then you go to get a little work done, and she's like, gotcha! It's like you you fell right into Shelob's web. We're working it out, though, and, and really, like... I've mentioned this uh, on stream a few times, I haven't really mentioned it on video, but... If you enjoy the videos, you should really say thank you to Kate. Because it is, uh... You know, her... Respon not responsibilities, that makes it seem like, you know, it's not my responsibility. I'm trying to think of how to phrase it. It's because of the amount of responsibility that she has taken on that I'm able to do basically any work at all. So, it really is a, is a team effort. Um, I guess we're just going to bounce here. But, 
Like, you, you see the effects of my team effort. Or the, you see the effects of my effort. The, her effort is behind the scenes, but no less important. If that makes sense. If not, we'll chalk it up to the effects of cumulative uh, sleep deprivation. I gotta tell you, I, don't, I can't remember if I've mentioned this in Isaac episodes before. But having the weirdest, like, waking dreams. And Kate's been saying the same thing. Just, I, and I, I think this is, like, new parent relatable. I hope it is, at least. I've never had, like, dreams that blurred the line between the dream world and the real world as much as I have over the course of the last, like, three weeks. I think it's something to do with the fact that you're, like... I, like, I wouldn't... I'm not a sleep scientist, you know? I don't know if we're entering REM sleep faster because we're getting less sleep or whatever. Um, but we're, like... You know, you go to sleep and... You don't really know when you're gonna wake up. Not in a freaky way, but you're like, it could be four hours, it could be 45 minutes, right? So you end up having these, like, weird dreams um, that bleed into, like, the first five minutes of you being conscious. It's very strange. I know it sounds like, a, like, I don't know, I'm trying to make it sound, like, more dramatic than it is. But there will be times where I'm, like, you know, in my head... I'm like, I'm feeding the baby. I, I think what's happening is I'm dreaming that I'm feeding the baby. And then when I wake up, it takes my brain longer than usual to know or to, to divine that I am not actually feeding the baby. And then it goes, what the heck? Where's the baby? I've lost the baby. And then I look over and the baby's in the crib. And I'm like, okay, false alarm. What is happening here, by the way, Judgment? It's, this is a little absurd. You, you dare not tempt me, okay? I will not. Okay, that's funny, but we're going to d20 those regardless. Yo, that's a good trinket, too. Um, you know what? The chosen pill remains. Let's give it a try. All right. Whatever. It's very strange. Like, if, you've, if you uh, ever find yourself in the position, I want you to remember this little bit right here. Because I'm telling you, there's something about the... Like, you have the weirdest, like, pseudo-real dreams. It takes me... I w I'm normally, like, a, a pretty good riser, you know? Whenever, like, Kate and I travel, if we have an early morning flight, I'm kind of driving the bus in the early morning. Even if I'm tired, I'm, like, I'm relatively well-adjusted. The first 10 minutes of wakefulness for me with this baby, I am completely useless. Like, if I wake up and I'm like, I gotta change and feed the baby, I'm like, first, just let me, like, just go to the bathroom and stare in the mirror for, like, five minutes, and then I'll do it. <laughs> I just need to, like, almost need to give myself, like, a Blade Runner-style Voight Kampf test just to make, like, am I dreaming? Like, I, I all, of a, all of a sudden, I understand the inspiration for Inception. Because I sometimes I gotta kind of pinch myself to, to know whether or not I'm dreaming. It's very strange. And Kate's been saying the same thing. Like, she'll... Too late for a golden teleporter, I think. She'll be telling me, like, oh, you know, she had dreams where she's feeding the baby. And then she wakes up and the baby's not actually in her arms because she wasn't feeding the baby. She was just dreaming. And there's, like, a weird moment of panic that happens right at the start where you're like, where's the baby? It's even weirder to, like, sometimes, you know, I'll be like, where's the baby? I wake up in a flash, and the baby's not in her crib, and Kate's not there. And, like, she's just in another room, you know, with the baby. But it takes a second for your brain to not jump to this conclusion of, like, my baby walked out the front door. Basically, I think what I'm trying to say is that I think being a, a new parent has made me uh, stupider than I've ever been before in my life. The, the line between uh, reality... And fantasy is, it's it's very blurred. the The corpus callosum is is eroding, if you will. Anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. I noticed because, like, you know, my my dad has gone home because somebody's got to keep making, you know, my parents' mortgage payment. Um, but my mom is is still in the city, um, helping us out, and like she's getting normal person sleep. Right? When we have conversations, I, I'm like, man, she's so well-spoken and, like, erudite. And then she'll be like, what do you want for lunch? And I'll be like, I was thinking that 
it would be germane if for the meal following breakfast we had some kind of food i'm not sure if it's been invented that was like a little bit of a, a like a filling in between two pieces of leavened wheat she's like a, i mean this is a bit of an exaggeration admittedly but you know she's like yeah that's honey that's called a sandwich you know look it up sweetheart I'm not at my best right now, is what I'm trying to say. Which is why I'm very thankful that we have a run here that is like... And really, a lot of our runs have been like this, you know, post-baby. Or, I don't know, because it's not really post-baby. It's like post-delivery. But not like, you know, the post-office. Does nobody else see how absolutely frick this is? Anyway, long story short, is things are going well, but bear with me because a lot of the things I say are probably going to be... I mean, I know you're used to a, a biting and incisive whip. And uh, I, I would love to be able to bring that to the table. But I'm, I'm dealing with a little bit of mental fog right now. And I think it's very justifiable. I'm starting to realize why new parents like only talk about their kids. It's like two different things one is that you know your kids become your life especially in you know corona we can't even really leave the house um i think we want to fly i don't think we really care about uh my shadow though and then uh the other one is that because it just completely rewires your brain like all of my subconscious and unconscious thoughts are baby where's the baby is the baby okay I know I looked over at the baby five seconds ago and the baby was breathing, but is the baby still breathing? Oh, wow. Like, even just now, I just heard the baby cry. <laughs> but I'm also like, wait a minute, was it the baby or was it Tomo? <laughs> right now, they, they have a similar sort of warble, if you will. I gotta tell you, though, I do think that being slightly sleep deprived has made for some of my best tweets ever. Like, you know how, um, whenever people listen to, like, uh, a song that's longer than three minutes and 30 seconds long, maybe it has, like, a single minor chord in it, they always go, like, whoa. <laughs> okay, uh, whoever made this was on drugs. All right, John Lennon. Uh, goo goo gajoob to you too as well, uh, Cheech and or Chong. You know that this guy was definitely on something when he made Yellow Submarine. Regardless. Oh, okay, Ringo. Sure, an octopus's garden. Wink, wink. I don't know where I'm going with this, um, but I, I do like this bit. Okay, Adele. Uh, hello to you as well. <laughs> Can you hear me in there? What was I saying? Oh yeah, I think that it, it is made for some of my best tweets by kind of like, again, blurring my sense of reality and, and normal conventional thinking. Um, like I woke up to feed the baby around like, I don't know, 2.30 last night after an hour and a half, two hours of sleep. I just, in my head, the, the thought that popped in was, you know that movie, The Boss Baby? That's BS, dude. No baby could be a boss. No matter how smart the baby is, they can't even... They're pooping their own pants. You trust them to run, like, some kind of Fortune 500 company? It doesn't even make any sense. So I tweeted. I couldn't get it out of my head. The 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 joke... It was so simple and elegant. It's just, I find the idea of a boss baby offensive. Come on, man. You're gonna make me walk all the way back here? And I gotta tell you, it did numbers. Even as I was tweeting it, I was, I'm in this state of uncertainty where I'm like, I don't know if this is going to make sense to anybody but my, like, Swiss cheese brain right now. But apparently there's, like, at least 1,400 other morons out there with the same, with the same problems I got that are like, yeah, I'll click the heart on that. You see, uh, and the answer to this is almost certainly no for most people. Did you see Tim Tebow's tweet that was like, how would you feel if Twitter had a respect button instead of just having a like button? What would you rather have, 110 likes or 34 respects? I don't even know <laughs> what 
The tweet means, but I've been thinking about it all afternoon. It's like, what if they did have a respect button on Twitter? Like somebody posts something and you click like, I respect that? I don't know. It would be definitely a strange dynamic for the site. That's all I'm saying. Like, I don't know what you would use it for. I, I can only think of it in like a dark side way. Like, I think people would exclusively use it to dunk on me for things that they don't actually respect. But I don't know, maybe that's not the case. Okay, so rate of fire up, and it does break the tear cap. God's flesh is whatever. Acid baby's not so good. A little chubby, you know, it's okay. Big fan. We're probably not at BL's above levels, but it's nice to have an orbital. I gotta tell you, you know what? I think I, believe it or not, I think I actually like the teleport the most here. Just something that allows me to maybe get to the, the boss fight a little faster. This run is, is still insanely great. We should run into no problems. I do feel like um, I'm, I'm taking more damage. Oh, we got lucky there with Infamy. I'm taking more damage than I usually do, but I definitely feel as well like the level of preventable damage that I've been taking is way lower now than it was uh, like a week and a half ago. Like, we, we were playing like a moron. We were playing like Josh back then. Okay, we don't want to be here. Oh, let's go, dude! It worked! <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice? Uh, okay, Brian Wilson. Uh, it would be nice if uh, your eyes weren't so bloodshot, because you were definitely <laughs> on drugs when you made this. It's I, I always find that to be such a funny comment. Like, you can only produce... Like, if, if you're not under the influence of something, every single song is going to be like, you know. Like, you can only compose Christmas songs if you're sober. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. That was eight days a week, which they were definitely on drugs when they made. Because, I mean, come on, everybody knows a week only has seven days. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!